How's it going, YouTube? So over the course of me taking the OSCP, 90 days of lab access, I was fascinated by the design of some of the machines, the interdependencies between some of them, and how some of the standalone machines were just configured and seemingly vulnerable, well not seemingly, actually vulnerable, to serve a specific purpose. And that got me interested in lab building or building machines that are vulnerable. It's pretty interesting to think that someone actually sat down, took his time to design and configure everything to be specifically vulnerable for that one thing. And so over the past month or so, I have fell into that rabbit hole. I've learned quite a lot and it seems like it's hard to start. I had to pull resources from all over the internet just to get started with my first machine. And some of them aren't even that good. It's just, oh, spin up a Linux machine, put this, put that. And some people have scripts on GitHub to build machines that they would have configured, which is pretty nice and pretty sweet. But I wanna be able to design my own for other people to hack into. And that is what we're gonna be doing in the series. What I wanna do right now is just talk about how we're gonna get started. The box we're gonna build, the first box we're gonna build, is gonna be a Linux machine, kinda of basic just getting our feet wet because it's a lot. There's a lot to configure. You have to learn a lot of technologies that need to intertwine and work properly so that there aren't any unintentional privilege escalation or footholds, but let's get straight into it. So what we need to think about at first is uh, the name of the machine. As you might know, I like naming my things after Naruto. So the name of this machine is gonna be Naruto. The next thing you might want to think about after that is the foothold, excuse my handwriting by the way, and then the privesque, right? How is someone going to get a foothold? How are they going to privesque? Are they going to go from foothold straight to root or are they going to need to move laterally and then vertically? Stuff like that. Once you think about your foothold, you're going to need to think of um, ports. How many ports do you want open? and uh, rabbit holes, is that how you spell a rabbit? I think so. Rabbit holes, you need to think about these services running on these ports. Once you think about that, privesque, you think about users, how many users are gonna be there? How much movement uh, is there gonna be laterally? And what exactly is gonna be the privesque method? Stuff like that. So it's just basically that for our box Naruto, we are going to have FTP, open SSH, and a web server on port 80 or port 8080. That doesn't really matter for now. So we're gonna have a binary in FTP. Someone's gonna find the binary in FTP, reverse engineer it, get a password for SSH, log in as the low privilege user, Naruto, and they're gonna have to privesc. Now, the privilege escalation is gonna be easy. So we just get a feet width, and then maybe on the next box we build, we may make it difficult. So the privilege is gonna be some sort of pseudo abuse. That is what I'm thinking, either pseudo abuse or another binary. This time it may be a misconfigured SUID binary. We can just use wget or something like that. Either these two are gonna be our privilege escalation methods, and that is literally gonna be the box Naruto. There is automation that needs to be done. I'm gonna be using VirtualBox and Vagrant since I am too cheap to pay for VMware. But um, if you have VMware, you can use VMware with an Ansible playbook, but I'm gonna be automating my builds with Vagrant. And then once we get to a point where we want to build Windows machines, we'll also be using Packer. You can also use Packer with VMware and Ansible. Doesn't really matter, but that is what we're gonna be doing. That is this video. I'll catch you in the next video where we'll actually start getting our hands dirty. And there's going to be a lot less of a mess when it comes to the presentation of this box. Peace.